What is the null hypothesis? You're going to be hearing about it a lot throughout your psychology career. So it's an important concept to get your head around early. Null is an old-fashioned word for zero, so a helpful way of thinking about it is as the zero hypothesis. <laughs> In fact, we'll often write it that way as a formula. H. Zero. The zero hypothesis. In this case, it predicts that our population mean is zero, and that there's no significant difference present. But it might also hypothesize that there's no correlation between two variables. Or, that there's simply no significant difference between two groups. So the null hypothesis is really just the opposite of our experimental hypothesis, which some books refer to as the alternate hypothesis. Any difference you do find isn't real and is just due to sampling error. Once you know the secret, it's easy to understand null hypothesis testing. Unless you have strong evidence otherwise, you accept the null hypothesis. Think of it like a court case. The onus of proof is on the prosecution to make their case. If you want to argue that there's a correlation between two variables, or perhaps that your treatment group differs from the control group, then you need compelling evidence to reject the null hypothesis. We want to be really, really sure. And only reject the null hypothesis if there's a statistically significant effect. And that's the null hypothesis in a nutshell. 